Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber Lawless and today is 11-24-18. Obviously 2018 still, but I thought I would get better at um, dating my vlog. Sorry, I had a moment here. So anyways, I want to give you a weight loss update because that's what this specific channel is about. <clears throat> As of today, I am 308 point eight and that is higher from some of my previous vlogs but I'm actually down recently from after having this last oral surgery and in case you didn't know you can watch some of my previous vlogs or I will let you know here um, I am working on getting my upper dentures at this time I'm in the final stages thank god and I just had my impressions, my first set of impressions done to get those gone, you know, done and whatnot. And it was horrendous. I have a huge gag reflex and having this goop and somebody's fingers in your mouth, if you have a horrible gag reflex, you know how bad that was. So anyways, um, I just want to give you a quick update. Like I said, 308.8, I am down my heaviest in the last two months, I want to say. I gotten close to 315 I want to say but on a side note that's kind of positive I have lost about 60 pounds since January 1st of this year so we are moving in the right direction it is slow and I want to give a quick shout out real fast to um, her name's Lexi but you might know her as um, Fat Girl Fed Up, I want to say. She's on Instagram, and I know she has a YouTube channel as well. She has lost, like, 300 and, I want to say, 40-some-odd pounds altogether in, I think, two years. She just had skin surgery to, you know, tighten everything back up. So, congratulations, Lexi, if you happen to see this. I am currently on my own journey. And I would love to get some tips and stuff from you if you have any. I am doing this all on my own. It is a huge battle, which I'm sure you know all about. <laughs> so anyways, um, I am 30 years old. I will be 31 in February. Valentine's Day to be exact. And I, as you guys may know, if you follow my channel, I have quite the list of health issues. I have type 2 diabetes. Um... I have heart disease, specifically uh, heart failure, whatever you want to call it. Um, my heart, my blood pressure in general is actually really good. My pulse, on the other hand, is not. My pulse at times is like, I think the lowest I've had is like low 90s. But I can range, I was hospitalized at 160 and that was a consistent heart rate and I thought I was dying. It was completely insane. So I am definitely on a journey to reclaim my health. I do want to be a mom, you guys know that. If you followed my journey for any length of time, um, I do have PCOS and that comes with a whole slew of other things. But, you know, I, I just, I'm not getting pregnant at this point in time. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. We're not preventing. But I know that it will put my life and my baby's life in danger. And I don't even want to think about losing another child. So I'm doing what I have to do to get better. So anyway, sorry for the ramble. I am going to really quickly, I hope you guys can see this when I stand up. But I do have a flexible tape measure where you're going to take some measurements I am no longer going to just go by the number on the scale although that does motivate me I have had both types of eating disorders where I've been on the extremely low end where I was anorexic and bulimia and I am now of course dealing with overeating and being obese and everything else which if you've had both types of eating disorders they really play off one another. I am telling you, even though I'm big and I binge and I have those issues, the other side of me that has dealt with being bulimic and everything really struggles with not making myself sick and losing the weight in a horrible way. So, we're doing this and we're going to do it the hard way. And as we go, no matter how long it takes, we're going to learn how to keep this off. 
for the rest of our lives. This is something that needs to be done. So I'm going to stand up. We're going to take these measurements. And if I don't do these right, I'm sorry. Um, leave a comment down below. Maybe suggest how you do them properly. But like I said, here we go. So I know you guys may not be able to see just a second. Don't you just love my shirt? So this is just the phase and it has all the different moon signs. I just love this shirt. But anyways, so this is embarrassing. This is usually not something I would love to do, you know, on camera to where everybody in the world could see this. But, okay, this is a 60 inch tape measure. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I am about about at 58 inches. I'm right there. So that was my waist or my hips. Sorry. We'll do my waist next. So start with one right at my belly button. Get the tip measure around. We're at 53. So remember, 58 at my hips, 53 at my waist. I'm actually going to write that down. Okay. Now we're going to do my bust. Guys, I am, I've always had a big chest. I'm just going to put it up. Fifty-one. Guys, this isn't really good. It doesn't make me feel good. It's got to be done. Sixteen on my left arm. About sixteen and a half on my right. And I guess some people do their neck, so we'll just do that. Okay, and we have 18 around the thickest part of my neck. So, as you guys can tell, I've got a lot of work to do. Whew, just doing that, I'm out of breath. And I hate that. I've been wearing my Fitbit, trying to get my steps in. Um, I'll link my, my fitness pal and I'll put my Fitbit information in the description box if you want to add me as a friend on either one I'd love to have you also I'll link my Instagram down below as well 
And as you guys can tell, I'm in a different room in my house, my apartment, actually. My husband's out playing on his PlayStation 3. And I've kind of set up my own little area in the room. So that's kind of nice. That's the little Jeff's chair. I need to get him a new one. So there's a few other things I'm going to let you guys know because... As you may notice, my videos are very inconsistent. I'm working on that. So, this is kind of what's up. So, I have started, like, three books. Four, technically. And I get started on something, and a new idea pops in my head, and I run with it. So, I've got that. I have launched three new blogs. Well, not launched. They're in the process of being launched. I'm doing some more. Um, I joined Skillshare. And if you haven't, if you don't know what that is, um, it's Skillshare.com. There's coupons out there for, you know, free trials and then um, discounted prices for like a month or something like that. Um, I got mine two months for free. So that was really nice. Um, Emmy Made in Japan had a link to that, and that gave it to me for two months of free, so thank you, Emmy. Anyways, and I'm also working on getting better on Instagram. I am on there more than I am here, obviously, but I am working on building this channel again, learning. Another thing that's always held me back on YouTube is the editing. I have... A Chromebook and I'm pretty tech savvy but there's some things that um, I just don't know like special effects how to add certain music you know some of the free um, video editing things out there only allow you so much free um, time downloads like five minutes on some of them anyway so that's been a pain in my ass just to be honest with you sorry for my language so I am. Sorry if you don't like it. But I'm going to start weighing in on Wednesdays and doing a What I Ate Wednesday and a weigh-in and giving you guys the updates and stuff then. I'm also going to be launching a channel here on YouTube as well about what I am watching through Netflix or what TV series or whatever it may be that I'm currently watching. And also planning on doing one for books. So, keep tuned, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great night. Bye-bye.